You know, being poor is very painful. Uxwela, to be disadvantaged, that's painful. And the pain goes deeper than just being empty on the stomach. Ukshupela goes as far as attacking your dignity as a person. And those of you who find yourself in a situation where will understand what I'm talking about when I say being poor goes as far as attacking a dignity. But apart from that, being poor is very limiting. If we are coming from a family that is really struggling, it's going to be difficult for you to get closer to your goals. Compared, of course, to, the, to those kids who have everything at their disposal, who have all the resources, who have all the support. Life will seem a bit easier for them. Life will seem a bit friendly towards them. So it becomes very much limiting. That's why I feel that um, these existing socioeconomic inequalities in society are the biggest injustice. But there's also one big injustice. It's when somebody is so obsessed with being poor, so obsessed with being disadvantaged, so much that all they can do is to mourn about it. When they are not doing a single thing to fight it. I think that's, that's, that's an injustice to yourself when you can only mourn about it. Because, let's be honest, if you are poor or you are disadvantaged, life will be difficult, of course, we, we appreciate that. But if all that you do is, is just mourn and complain about it, a few years later, you will still not be successful. Your situation probably wouldn't have changed. But you will be um, you'll be having a lot of justifiable, valid reasons for not being great, for not being successful. But it doesn't change the fact that you are still not successful. I'm reminded of a friend of mine, Oai Fundal M. Schwart. He will tell me that, come a tricky, they didn't have Utisha Wemets in the physics. They had one textbook which they had to share among all of them, come a trick. So they were self-taught when it came when it came to those two critical subjects. Yet this person wanted to do a BSc. Of course, his metric wasn't where he wished it would be. But it wasn't so bad either because he was able to get through the assess program. But he's, he told me that doesn't even qua assess, he still struggled with that assess program. But fast forward a few years later. He now holds a PhD, he's lecturing at UCT, and he's doing so well in his career. This is a close friend of mine. Another close friend of mine went to the same school, same circumstances. He too is doing very well. But when you think, you realize that there are many, 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 many people who share similar stories of going through adversity and still came out great. People who, uh, during graduation times, uh, you, you hear a lot of stories of people who are able to make it out of the situation and still be great as much as they were poor. And this is what you need to understand about those people. Apart from complaining about their circumstances, they worked silly. They put on an extra shift. Because really, when you are poor, you can't afford to behave like those who are resourced. When you are poor, you will have to go the extra mile. It's a must. If you are off campus, I remember when I Kibeli bus, the fact that I was off campus and taking a bus, walking to campus from town every day. It meant that I was behind with work. But being behind with work left me with two options. To fail and place my reason for being off campus 
uh, as a valid reason for me failing or to sacrifice my weekends sacrifice my leisure time just to catch up on work so that I'm level with the rest so if it takes me hours to type an assignment then it means I'm not sleeping if I don't do that I'm left with an option of complaining about my circumstances but does it help me pass no does it help me move forward no so this is what I want you to take away from this video yes being disadvantaged is painful. Poverty is limiting. It shouldn't be right for us to be poor. We should fight for socioeconomic equalities because it's unfair that those who have it have life easy and somehow we are affected by the system. At the same time, complaining about it is not the only thing that we should be doing. If we are serious about moving forward, we hope that in the near future our kids won't have to fight as much as we do, won't have to slave as much as we do, because hopefully by that time there will be fairness in this world. But at this point, while we are still struggling for that goal, when who's existing now in this present time, in this present In equal society we in you have no option but to work 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 extra hard and your work rate can't be the same as the work rate of the person who has it all if you are serious about breaking out of poverty so we can't just be mourning about it we need to show through our actions that we are sick of it, we don't want to be there in, for too long. And we can only show that by working extra hard.